Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to another cooking class with SketchUp. Uh, in this class we're going to be bringing in a, a JPEG file as our source file so that we can create our project. Um, if you use Google you should be able to find uh, small house plans, small apartments, retail, restaurant. Just by Googling it with image you'll find lots of interesting uh, projects to work with. Um, if you have your own project, that's even better, so you can have lots of fun with it. So to start with, we're just going to go into File, and we're going to Import, and we're going to change this to a JPEG file. And in this JPEG file, I'm just going to open up this little simple house plan. I think we use this in class. And you just place it on your screen, and the size is not really, really important. Uh, you can see it went very, very small. Um, just going to delete Susan and so if we go into here we look at this and we see that we have a dimension here that this should be 18 feet so with our measuring tool we can actually change this by clicking on say this corner dragging across to this corner and it's telling us the, the distance is one foot one and a half so we'll just change this to 18 feet and enter. And of course we get this, uh, do you want to resize? We say yes. And so now it has resized our image. Again, if I was to scale this, should be pretty close to, it says 18 foot 3 quarters. So I can just click on that 18 foot. And resize it yeah so it's pretty close it's close enough for what we're doing again this is conceptual so it's not meant to be construction if it was you could just create a rectangle 18 foot by 12 work from there but for now uh, it's really important that we uh, use the rectangle tool on these things if we try to draw lines there's always a chance that these lines are not exactly parallel and we will have problems if the lines aren't parallel and you'll see why shortly so I'll just just create a rectangle just pick on the first corner come down here pick on the second corner that's good enough now of course once we've done this we can't see our object um, another thing that's really important here is maybe we should be working with layers so I'm just going to add an image layer going to add a wall layer going to add a floor layer and maybe a ceiling layer and a roof layer. Now of course later on you can always add uh, more layers uh, depending on what you're bringing in furniture or whatever you're doing. So this is a good basic start. So again we do everything on layer 0 and then put it on the layer. So this is my image. Right click Entity Info and we see this on layer 0 so we'll just put this on the image layer and again we know it's on the image layer because we can turn it off or on okay so we'll just get back to our model here um, if I want to see underneath the model I can click on x-ray and so now I can see underneath it so now I can just do an offset And again I don't care I mean it should be somewhere around 6 inches and then I'm going to do another rectangle from the inside to the corner and again I can just offset that again I'm just going to offset it missed offset just so that it's close I'm not too concerned it's making some extra lines but I'm going to clean those up in a minute so I'll just turn my x-ray off here so I can see what I'm doing so I'm just going to erase that, those lines, that one, these lines, and this one. And I can, uh, if I want to, I can just basically, I'm just going to just select the surface and delete it. Select the surface and delete it. And that just shows me my walls. So that's good. So I'm just going to pull those up say nine feet and 
that was pretty simple but again I used the rectangle tool to create these I did not try to use lines if you use lines you're going to have a little bit of problem with the next step so the next thing is we have doors and windows if I go into x-ray you can see I got doors and windows around here so I'm just going to you can use x-ray or you can turn it off it doesn't matter I can see where the door is I'm not too too concerned because we can play with sizes in afterwards again click on the edge not the bottom not the corner but on the edge come across on the red surface and it's jumping around a little bit on me but that's close enough do another one for the other side of the door for the window come across here for this side of the window again if you want you can make it exactly six foot like it says or it's close enough here chances are that the windows we pick aren't going to fit anyway so we'll be playing with it so I'm just going to come up we know the door is going to be six foot eight or seven foot whatever you like and it's supposed to be a four foot window so I'm just going to bring this down four foot okay so we know that um, if I was to look at my components and I was to bring this door and put this door in here it's fine this is what we did for the salt box house but I have a problem because this wall has thickness the salt box house didn't have thickness so uh, what I have to do is I need to create a rectangle here and a rectangle for the window and then I'm just gonna push pull these right through just push pull come up top click on the back wall on the top same thing here back wall on the top and it gives me a nice opening a nice hole okay so that's pretty cool so now I can try bringing in my door and I just place my door on the wall again I'm because it's very difficult to get the sink to when you're touching the edges there's so many edges on the door that it's very difficult to get the correct edge so it's easier to work on here so I'm just gonna get this here that's close enough but you will see my door is too big so that's that's fine um, I can click on to scale and click on to x-ray so I can see so again you see all the grip points that we have to work with if we go from diagonal it's going to give width and thickness and change things like that so really what I want to do is I'm just going to grab this grip here and I'm just going to grab and push it down until I reach the top of the opening and do the same thing here now you could do the same thing with this one but I find it easier to work with this to grab one setting and this to grab a setting and if I turn off my x-ray it looks pretty good go on the inside and I can see my door is not too bad might need to do a little bit of work on it maybe put a molding or something on it but it's looking good for now okay so I'm going to add a window now same thing I just go into my SketchUp library and I'll just grab this window here and it looks pretty good but again it's too small so I just click on to scale change this into um, x-ray mode grab this one click up onto the top grab this one click over here onto the side turn my x-ray mode off and it's looking pretty good okay so now I just need to do construction lines over here I can erase these construction lines now and again I need a construction line across here and I'm just gonna pause this and finish this so you can do them as well so I'll just put the okay so I've completed mine now I have my door and window on the front I put a window on the sides all the sides and I also went in and put a door on the inside by using my construction so um, I'm just going to stop this tutorial at this point and you can work with it trying to get things set up and we'll look at what we can do to complete the project thank you